you are advised to watch the previous video in this playlist before watching this one. Let's consider the first min term. We can see it is in not A, not B, and C, as well as being in the area of D, which corresponds to this area here. This min term is in not A, B, C, and D, and that corresponds to this area. This one is in not A, B, C, and not D, and that corresponds to the area shaded here. This is A, B, C, D, and that corresponds to this area. This one is A, B, C, and not D, which corresponds to this area here. This one is A, not B, C and D, which corresponds to this area. And the final min term is in A, is in not B, is in C and not D. And that corresponds to this area here. Consequently, we fill each of those areas with a 1, as you can see here. We have just plotted a four variable sum of min terms onto a four variable Carnot map. We now have to minimize by looping the ones we've just plotted as appropriate. It is important to remember however that we loop two ones, four ones or eight ones. We cannot for example loop six ones. So we can actually start to loop these four here. We can also loop these four. And then we have this one by itself, so we loop that, but we loop it within a loop of four, as you can see there. Let's look at each loop in turn, and let's start with the blue loop. We can see it overlaps the D and the not D, so we discount that variable. Likewise, it overlaps the B and the not B. None of it's in the not C, and none of it's in the not A. The area is clearly in A and C. Consequently, this particular blue loop is A and C. Let's now consider the red loop. We've shaded it in and we should be able to see that it overlaps the not A and the A. It also overlaps the D and the not D, so we discount all of those variables. None of it's in not B, as we can see, so we discount that. No area is in not C. It's quite clear that it's in C and it's in B. Consequently, this area here is B and C. Let's now consider the black loop, and we can see that it clearly overlaps the A's and the not A's and the B's and the not B's, so all of those can be discounted. None of it's in the not D, and none of it's in the not C. It's clearly in the C and in the D. So this particular loop, so we can say it's C and D. So we can see that the black loop is C and D, the red loop is B and C, and the blue loop is A and C. Therefore, we can say that F is A and C, or B and C, or C and D, which we can write like this if we so wished, where this is the answer, in the sense it's the minimization of the Boolean expression above. On this plot we have eight ones and we can loop them as shown here. However, it can be done more efficiently than this is suggesting. Because these four ones are actually right next to these four ones here, as shown in the previous video. So that loop, we can see, is clearly in not D. So the loop is not D. If we look at the plot here, we can see that this one and this one are next to each other. They're also next to this one and this one here. Consequently, if I just quickly shade these in and have a look, we can see that the shaded area overlaps the dot A and the A. It overlaps the not C and the C. None of the area is in the B and none is in the D. Now it's clear that the shaded area is both in the not B and the not D. Therefore the loop is not B and not D. And this is because the edges of the counter map connect as we showed in the last video.